What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared, y'all. Kendra G, Kendra G, the show that keeps on mother loving giving. Now, today we're going to be doing a review on Kendra's show, and um, we got another baby mama, and her, their child is in the damn pictures. This woman, she says being a mom makes her more valuable. Once a provider, she makes six figures. So, let's see. I got a feeling it's going to be a load of bullshit, and we all know this, but what the fuck do I know? I'm just a motherfucker reviewing this show on YouTube. Uh, let's get this shit going. This little baby, you came on with the baby. I know, she just came out the room. She's watching her little show. Hey, okay. okay, what's your name, honey? Oh, hi, hi, Mama. Hey, Mama. What's your name, baby girl? My name is Kia. Kia. Kia, yeah. where you calling me from, Kia? I'm in Houston, Texas. Huh? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. How old are you? I'm 33. 33? What you do for a living? Um, I'm in real estate, and I also work for the school district. Sit down, Mama. Oh. Real estate and work for the school district. My observation of this she probably works for the school system and she does not do real estate at least full time so um she's capping let's get it she gonna just follow you around this <laughs> oh you see her and she was doing so good all these hours and now she want to come out oh she just we're looking for a step daddy no we are not looking for a step daddy she's looking for a crash step dummy that's what she's looking for stop it right, so is it it's, it's Kia, right? Kia, yes. Kia, Houston, Texas, 33. What you do again, love? So I'm in real estate, and I also work for the school district. Okay, she's broke as hell. Real estate and school district. Is that your only yes. child? How old is your child? Yes, I only have one. She's four years old. Four years old. Why are you not with the daddy? So we just didn't work out. Um, there was some infidelity. Communication was horrible. And he just wasn't a provider. So we decided to separate. It's been okay. almost. A mm -hmm. you can't. So y'all didn't work out because he wasn't a provider. Didn't you know that about him before you got pregnant? So something's telling me that this woman doesn't have a good, a good judge of character. Hmm. He and not pay the bills. Right. <laughs> All right. Kia, what's your zodiac sign? I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. Yes. So we got Kia, Houston, Texas, 33 Aquarius, works in real estate, um, school district also, works for school district. Yes. Mild to a four-year-old. Have you ever been married? I have. Oh, uh, was you married to her child's father? I was not. I was married before I met him. Okay. So you was married and you didn't give your ex-husband any children. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so you've been divorced for years. Say again. I said you've been divorced for years. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. All right. What kind of man are you looking for now, love? Um, I would like a provider. I would like a communicator. Um, someone who's family oriented and um. Believes in God, believes in, you know, our power and okay. someone who just is established and emotionally available. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, someone who, someone who's toxic, negative, and obviously, <laughs> I'm sorry, she's on one tonight, y'all. But, um, someone who just isn't ready. Someone who's immature. It's my deal breaker. Okay. All right. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, not really. I'm not too big on looks. I just, someone who's well-groomed, has good hygiene. I would prefer someone taller than me. Everyone's taller than me. I'm only five foot, so, um, that shouldn't be hard. But, um, and I would prefer a black man. I'm open to other races, but I love, I love black men. I love me a black man, so. Question is, do black men love you? Because apparently you got a child by another man, and that man didn't say with you. So, fuck out of here. That'd be great. Okay, you said provider. A couple of people are saying provider, provider. What do you mean by provider? Um, so someone who's able to uh, pretty much 
hold down himself and a family, that'd be nice. I mean, I make great money and I don't mind helping out. Um, but I really kind of want to step back and, you know, step into my femininity and really serve my husband, serve my daughter. Bitch, you didn't even serve the husband that you had. What the fuck makes you think that you about to serve a husband that you that you hoping for? What? Oh my God. Y'all motherfuckers are stu Y'all stupid. Serve my household. That'd be nice. Okay. Okay. So, city make a certain amount of money. Um, not necessarily, maybe 70K or better. Okay, 70K or better, should he be in Houston, Texas? He doesn't have to be, I'd love that, but he doesn't have to be. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, um, oh, I'm short Kendra, so let me try to, I got a little school in here, y'all don't make fun of me. Let's sit it right here. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Oh, 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 you want that booty to show? That's what she was trying to show. She wanted y'all to see that. Okay. <laughs> we see you, bro. We got some paid questions for you. You ready for them? I'm ready. All right. Um, Carl so not novel, I think, says, Does your daughter have a bedtime and can your man discipline her? So she does have a bedtime. Um, we just had a crazy week. School just ended, so I'm letting her enjoy her Friday night. How about 60 to 40 type of stuff? So she does have a bedtime. Um, we just had a crazy week. School just ended, so I'm letting her enjoy her Friday night. Um, I understand it, but still, she's a four-year-old child. Send her to bed. I mean, she's literally in the camera, and you are over here just, uh, just playing around with her. Like, no, t go to bed. Go to bed, honey. Like, this, that's not how this shit goes. Okay, I don't know if any of you hear that, her, or anything I just said. So let me rephrase what I just said. She's she's four years old. She you say she has a bad time, but you let her play around because she's she's school just out. But still, she's four. Send her to bed. I mean, she just she needs to be in the bed because she's young. And you have her in the camera and you're trying to do it. That, that's that's unacceptable. Um, and can he discipline her? Um, yes, as long as it's not physical. I, I feel I'm the only person that should be physical with her. But of course, time out, take a toy, you know, things like that to have a good talking to her. Yeah, sure. If he's my husband, we get to that level. Yes. Okay. L double I said, you want to provide her with the toddler. How about 60 to 40 type of stuff compromise? Um, you know, I, I tried it. I really did try it. I'm not one of those women that just want a way paved and made for them, but I just, I'm all about balance. So it's really not a monetary thing. It's just balance. I, I noticed that I can only spread myself so thin. So it's more so about having balance within the household. Wait, so... You try 60 40, but yet that didn't work. You're looking for a man that pays the majority of the bills, if not all. Quote unquote, you want to step into your soft life. Yeah, after you had a child and gotten divorced. So you got married to one man, didn't have a child for him, but you got pregnant by another man and he, he didn't even require a marriage. How do y'all think this shit works? Um, I make great money. I make six figures myself. I just, um, it takes from the things that I love to do. I love to cook. I love to clean. I love to decorate. I would love to homeschool my daughter. I would love to, you know, really be able to cater to my man. I love spoiling my man. And I don't. Homeschool. You want to homeschool your daughter. You want to be able to, it's taken away from you cooking and cleaning. And you want to spoil your man. But yet you didn't spoil your husband. Why are you not married to your husband? I want to hear that. I don't have time to do it if I'm working this hard. So that's really the main thing. It's not so much the money. So when you get married, you don't want to work? Um, I don't mind working. Um, but if I didn't have to, if I had the option of not having to, that'd be great. I'd love that. Okay. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship, Kia? 
uh, with the father of my daughter, and that was almost three years ago now. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, God. This is embarrassing. I promise y'all know what I'm doing, I think, but it's been over 10 months now. It's, it's okay. been, been rough. <laughs> Anytime somebody says, I know what I'm doing, they don't know what they're doing. In 10 months? Yeah, okay. You have to think about that shit. Over 10 months. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, ooh, Kendra, these are good questions. Okay. Um, I'm an overthinker. Um, I'm OCD. I'm super, super clean. And that has been issue, an issue in my past relationships. So working on that. And, um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's, well, maybe overthinker, OCD, and, um, Okay. I'm a little spoiled. Overthinker, OCD, and spoiled. Spoil is a problem. OCD and overthinker, that means you're cautious. That's not a flaw. So basically, you only got one flaw that you can name. Throughout this entire interview, you're probably going to start showing all of those flaws you have. And you're just not aware of them. Just a little bit. I'm a little yeah, spoiled. Just a little bit. Just okay. A little. Just a little bit. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um. He wouldn't. Dang, Kendra, these are good questions. Um. So I really feel that hey, I can go on and on, but I really feel what what really matters to my core is like I'm consistent. I don't get. I don't allow myself to become complacent in relationships. The way you meet me and what I do for you is what I'm going to continue to do for you. You know, I work out routinely. I love cooking. I love cleaning. I'm organized. I'm structured. Very understanding. Very communicative. You just lied. You say you're structured. Your child has a damn bedtime and she's not in the bed. That's structure, man. Um, Open-minded. Love to have a good time. Um, I'm peaceful. And um, I think I'm a traditional woman. I don't, I'm not one of those. Oh, hell no. You just lied out of your damn neck. I think I'm a traditional woman. Married, divorced, didn't have a child outside of wedlock. That's traditional? Yeah, okay. Goes out with a man, and I'm not, I'm not that. I'm just me. She's not that. All right, let's do it. Kia Houston, Texas, 33, Aquarius. Uh, works in real estate. Um, do you want more kids? Um, that's something I'm up and down about. I I wouldn't mind having more children, but I will only have another child once I'm married. So if that. Does so why didn't you give your husband a child, but you gave a man that didn't marry your child? None of this stuff ever makes sense with these type of women. They say they're traditional, but yet their life proves. That they're not traditional. They have children outside of wedlock and then say I'm traditional. <sighs> Ma'am, stay your ass where you at. Doesn't have another. Girl, I don't know what you said to set these men off with your six figure comment, but Hustle and Flo said, decorate the wall with some pictures with your six figures. Oh, well, this is a rental, so I don't plan on putting too much emphasis on the rental. Um, but yeah. Six figures and someone's telling me she's lying about the six figures. Yeah, I'm scaling I'm scaling my real estate business. So I don't think it's smart to you know invest too much in a rental. But um yeah, no, I, I definitely make six figures. I was in the military. I retired. I make seven grand just from that. And then I work for KDISD. I get great money from there. And then I own five um, real estate properties. So I pull in a good amount of money a month. But I, right. I don't need anybody. I don't want to offend anybody. But I just want a, a traditional man who doesn't mind taking care of a woman. Because I definitely take care of a Scratch that. Taking care of a woman and her child. Because let's face it, you're not going to be the only one that's going to be just taking care of you. 
He's going to be taking care of you and your child. My man. So I'm sorry if that offends Woo! anybody. But I want. Sorry if you got offended, Hustle and Flow. Shoot. All right, girlfriend. What's the age range you would say? You're 33. I'm 33. Um, honestly, I think I need to date older because I don't, I'm, I'm noticing I don't have those issues when I say I want a provider. So maybe older is what I need to do. So maybe, um, 38 to 55, 38 to 55. Do you want another question? I'm gonna let you decide. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I don't know what you said. Why are they so upset? L double I said, so you want to just sit in the house and don't contribute to the financial aspect and spoil me with my own money and clean. All right. We got a, we got you traditional woman worked too. Well, I want to say this, didn't you say you have, cause she could be home, but that doesn't mean she's not still getting income. She already says she gets income from the military. She owns property. So I'm assuming, I don't yeah. know how that works. Um, but she, she could be home and still get money from those entities. So I think L double I, she's not saying that she won't necessarily be working. She's just saying she'll be home or she won't be making money. Her, her being home doesn't mean she's not going to be making money. Am I correct in that? Yeah, you're definitely correct. Um, my, most of the way I make money is passive. So, um, like I said, it's about balance. I, I don't mean to come off like some sort of gold digger. That's definitely not the case. And if you think running a household, taking care of children, so assisting you with your legacy is me sitting on my ass at home, maybe you're not the target market for me, and that's okay. But um, I definitely have a lot to bring to the table. And I've I don't think I don't think you're anybody's target market. Because you're trying to act like you're, you're trying to act like you're something that's unique, but you're not. You're like every other woman that comes on this pay on this page. I, I have that in all my past relationships. No man that I've ever been with left that relationship the same. They left with great credit. They left debt free. They no, 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 no. Wait a minute. They never left that relationship the same. Hold up. But I've ever been left that relationship the same. They never left that relationship the same. Now, that could be whether bad or better for worse. And nine times up to ten, it was probably for worse. They left with great credit. They left debt free. They either left with a house or a car. How many, how much, how do y'all, how many of y'all do y'all think that she's lying? She left with great credit, left with a house, left with a car, left with something that was of value. How much I want to bet? Because me being the person I am, I'm thinking about this shit logically. If they left that relationship and you did all that for them, nine times out of ten, you was an issue. So if they left, because, if they left and you did that for them, you were a problem. But I can guarantee you this. If a woman actually did that for a man and she was worth keeping, they wouldn't have left. So basically, you lying like out of your side of your neck to try to make you sound good. Something. I definitely make myself useful in my relationships. Well, Chaz on your side. Chaz said, insecure men in the comments love to insult. So, Chaz? So we got a sucker simp in the damn chat room. Chad rocking with you. Thank you, Chad. Okay. I got some more questions. I don't know about, uh, I'll, um, okay, I'll read it. The land said, you're a single mom, too late to be requesting a provider. Should have thought about that earlier. Why? Well, I know women who, go ahead. So because I'm a child, I, that, that puts me at a disadvantage. I think that actually makes me more valuable. How does that make you more valuable? You had a child for a man that do, did not marry you. You was married, then you got divorced. Then you had a child for a man that did not marry you. How does that make you valuable? You having a child doesn't make you valuable. Your child your child is a liability until they turn 18. What are you talking about? Depends on how you look at it. So, from your perspective, um, 
Explain your, explain your perspective on why it's more valuable. Sure. So um, it's more valuable because I appeal to both types of men. So if a man doesn't want children, that's great because I already have one and we don't need to have another. And if he does want children, you know exactly what type of mother I am. My daughter is in a private school. She has a private chef. She has a gym membership. She's learning three different languages. Didn't she just say that she liked to cook and clean? <sighs> Delusion is fuck it. How in the hell do you are you more valuable when, as a single mom, a single baby mama? Talking about because I appeal to both type type of men. If they don't want kids, I already have one. If they don't have kids and they want one, they can't. You can already see what kind of mother I'm gonna be. How the fuck does that make sense? I swear they trying to play. They trying to play dog on Tetris to talk. Dog gonna make this shit sound right. They're literally playing Tetris or Jenga, right now, at this point. They're literally trying to maneuver their way around the world, to try to try to make themselves sound better. Mm -mm. Plain as they dumb. Um, she's well taken care of. Um, you can ask the father of of my child. I don't believe in child support. I don't believe. So she doesn't believe in child support. So basically, your ass is gonna be paying for all the damn child support when it comes to her and her daughter. I don't believe in child support. So basically. Your baby daddy is basically riding around here with some damn loose ding a ling and doggone over here ramrod and everything else. And you talk about I don't put people on child support. Get the fuck out of here. Believe in getting the government involved in personal matters and affairs. Um Just you see exactly what you're getting with me. So I feel like that should appeal to any mature man who understands the importance of family. Okay. You know, to all the men that are older than me, I want y'all to comment down below. Because this shit don't make fucking sense. I, I, I love that you stood your ground on your perspective. I've heard, you know, I have heard men say that they wanted women. There are men who definitely say they want women that already have children because they don't want more children. Um, I also know men who um went with women because they love the way that she was a mother to their child so i have so i have heard that perspective of course on my show another perspective is the opposite um a provider is obviously expected to take care of you and another man's child and then there's some men who have issues with them using their money their hard work to provide for you and another man's child but that wouldn't be the guy that you would want obviously Correct. That wouldn't be the target market because obviously, especially if I'm dating in the age range that I'm looking for, I would expect these men to have children already. And I'm definitely not coming into the situation as, oh, I don't plan on being a mother to your child. They're not mine. I'm going to love on them children just the way I love on mine. I have to cook for them, clean for them, nurture them, help with homework. Pick Lady, you talking about cooking and cleaning. You literally just said that you had a private chef cooking for your daughter. You lying at it aside to your teeth. What the fuck? Wow. Take them up, take them to daycare or practice. I have to put my life on the line just like you do. So I don't think it's any, there's nothing I'm asking of you that I'm not willing to do myself for your children. So if that's not something you're into, again, I'm not knocking you. We're just she has structure, but yeah, her daughter's on the couch acting crazy. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, look in the background. That's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about just not a good fit and that's okay okay yeah. well, you, you sparked some emotions tonight nini once said girl do your thing a real man will love your hustle thank you nini okay jasmine ooh, are you still here kia i'm sorry I'm here. I'm here. all right another question jasmine said kendra ask her what will she give her provider man that she has not given any other man Okay, so basically what I would give to a man that I haven't given already is basically the lifetime, the long-term, the longevity of it. 
Lady, who the fuck gives a damn about lifetime and longevity? You had a husband and you and y'all got divorced. Obviously that lifetime is a hell. It's hell. So miss me with that bullshit. You ain't offering nothing, but yet you over here talking about I bring more to the table. I swear, y'all think just because y'all bring some pun some damn punonic to the damn table that y'all think that y'all are worth the pot of gold. Like get the fuck out of here. Like Anybody really doing that shit? a life partner. You don't have to worry about doing life by yourself at this point with me. I'm in it for I'd rather be alone with a raggedy ass car putting a motor in that bitch than be around you. I'd rather never mind, I ain't gonna say it, but I'd rather date a damn stripper than be around you. The long I'm looking for a husband if I didn't say that already. This isn't You had one, you left them, you had a baby you got had a baby by the nigga that chain you married to. Now get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. For fun, this isn't a fling. I'm looking for my partner, my person. So um, basically everything that I already bring to the table, this has been, I've been in a preparatory phase. I have trained myself to be a wife. I have done. You have trained yourself to be a wife. This woman is believing her own, is smelling her own shit. You are this woman is literally smelling her own shit. She was she's trained herself to be a wife. Am I missing something here? I remember a certain somebody that a lot of black women hated. His his name might might give you a little bit of um a little bit of ooh. It was Kevin Samuels. And Kevin Samuels said this. How can you qualify yourself to be something when you ain't even when you only had the results that you even asked for? I know somebody's gonna correct me in the comment section, but how can you qualify yourself if you don't even have your damn the damn results your damn self? How can you qualify yourself? I've never fucking said I was a relationship coach. I'm not. I don't want to be one. Y'all broads are insane. She qualified herself to be a wife based upon her based upon her thought process. Wow, that is fucking something. Done the work. You know, um, I'm not bitter. I'm not scorned. I have no traumas that are going to come and try to separate us. I, I'm honest. I'm loyal. Like... There's nothing you're going to have to come in and do to complete me as a woman. And if that's not valuable to you, I got to be with you. I don't know what to okay. tell you. Well, this guy, Nate, Nathaniel said, I'm 5'3", so he's, I'm not sure if you have a height requirement, but he's 5'3", in Cali, no kids. I got three jobs. I'm looking for a wife. I don't mind kids either. How tall are you, Kia? I'm five feet. Would you date a man 5'3"? I'd be open to that. He's taller than me. Okay, Nathaniel. We're going to get to her contact and, um, and we're going to get to her contact info in a second. So you wait until we give out the contact info. Um, I can't pronounce I think it's Mahande said, so how you make six figures and have all this to say you have, but you didn't require him to marry you before carrying a child. Okay, that's a fair question. Um, so I'll be honest with you. That was a time where, um, and this is where I just have to hold myself accountable. I had been single for seven years and I had been a workaholic. I was in the military. I was in college. I was working another job on the side, um, you know, and I just looked up and I'm like, man, life is passing me by. I'm getting older. So honestly, I just, I made a person the one without ever requiring anything from him. He was That was the least accountable shit that I've ever heard in my fucking life. The least. Oh my God. This woman takes accountability, accountability like damn butter on rice. 
it melts away fast because she wants it to. It's never, you know, in alignment with me. And I can be honest about that. And so I don't regret it because I have my daughter and she has really molded me into the woman I am now. So I have no regrets, but I didn't know my worth or who I was or what I wanted. That wasn't the mindset. All I felt was my biological clock ticking. So that's what happens. And I, okay. That's fine. I love that you um, stand your ground on these questions. This is yeah. this is in your favor. Um, Alexa the Beast, I said, it says, some men believe all men are the same. Just because it doesn't work for you doesn't mean the woman will die alone. Grow up and get out more. Shaking my head. Yeah, I just, you know, it's it's all out of love, though. I can't, I'm, nothing really angers me. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I respect it, but it is what it is. Okay. Hey, mama. Um, don't, why Kendra don't. hating on Hustle and Flow? Facts. I don't remember who Hustle and Flow was. What was I hating on? I don't remember. Um, there was something else. I think that's it. I think we got them all. Okay. Okay, last question. Did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Oh, I did want to read this. L double I said, because he wants the world to know. He said, L double I said, I have all that. I make good money too. And Miss Kendra, nobody's mad. We're just asking questions. That's it. I respect her though. Good luck, Ma. Thank you. Good luck okay, to you too. He's just asking questions. Um, and Jerry Thompson said, the men that watch your show and comment are very sassy. I love you, but I hate them. Oh, they, they, they think y'all sassy. All right, did I ask you why would I go? You know, simps need to be eradicated. They came in, they see this woman, She. they see that she thick. Now they over here trying to place Captain Saber Ho. Poor me, poor me. Boy. <laughs> oh my God. These Sims out here, boy. Nah. I ain't about to fight that battle. She got too many red flags. Nah, I ain't about to fight, about to fight that battle. And the fact that you got these Sims over here trying to play that, nope. Mm -mm. That's a dangerous fight. That's a that's a lose. That's a lose lose fight. I fight, I'm gonna look like a dumbass. If I don't fight, well, if I fight, I'm look like a dumbass. If I say something, I'm look like a, I'm be like a dumbass. So at this point, nope. I'm gonna let this shit play. With, with everybody in my comment section already know what the fuck I'm gonna say. She ain't gonna tell baby pappy, but apparently no. So uh, she about to die alone. Cause ain't no damn body about to come along with this shit. I gotta be lucky to be with you. That's actually your three flaws. I did right. Yes, you did. Did I ask you why I gotta be lucky to be with you? You did. All right, so we're at the end. Kia, what was the age range you would date? You're 33. Yeah, I'd say um, maybe 38 to 55. 38 to 55. 38 to 55, okay. And should he be in Texas? He doesn't have to be. It'd be preferable, but he doesn't have to be. Okay, woo! Listen, now this one's in your favor. Um, okay. Adele Clark says, I like her. I heard enough. What's her contact info? I'm 6'2". Um, he's 6'2". Oh, he's six two. Oh, he tall, oh, tall. Okay, okay. I like climbing well, let's trees. Let's get to it. What is your contact? How can the guy reach out to you? Um. At this point, like I said, Simps are gonna dog on, go go along with it. Play, hey, play ball, play ball, play boy. Ah, uh, just me? Nope, I ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. Anyways, let's just subscribe to the channel, support the podcast, and support with the call. <sighs> God damn. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.